Yep, and, and a lot of times I go back to a lot of the um, well-known chemists, uh, the father of soil science, in this case, uh, Hans Jenny. And Hans Jenny defined dirt as being just the mineral component of the soil. So these are two different things. Soil and dirt are not synonymous terms, according to the father, one of the fathers of, of soil science. The mineral component is just dirt. So now what do you have to add to that mineral component to the sand, silk, clay, rocks, pebbles, and, you know, boulders, and parent material? What do you have to add to turn that into a definition of soil? You have to add organic matter, and you have to add organisms. Now, Hans Jenny didn't figure out that you had to have all these different kinds of groups in order to set up nutrient cycling, in order to set up disease suppression, in order to set up building soil structures so oxygen and water will move through the soil as deep as it can go. So your roots can grow through the soil as deep as that plant can put down its root system. So it's the mineral components, sand, silt, clay, rocks, pebbles, etc. It's organic matter to feed the microorganisms. That's what the organic matter is, matter is really there for. Plants cannot access organic matter or the nutrients in organic matter unless there are organisms there to decompose that organic matter so all those nutrients get pulled into their bodies, into the bacteria and fungi. And the bacteria and fungi have to be eaten by protozoan, nematodes, microarthropods, earthworms, and all those other cute little things running around in the soil that make those nutrients available to your plant. There is no soil on this planet that lacks the nutrients to grow plants. So why are we putting out inorganic fertilizers? How have we become so, you know, uh, well, wool pulled over our eyes. How come we believe this stuff when people, well, you know, about when, uh, you know, the Green Revolution started, um, they would put out nitrogen fertilizer and the plants would grow better. Well, so if that's true, then what are you talking about this biology? Well, the only way the Green Revolution works is if you've already killed all the biology in the soil. And then you're really stuck in that trap of how can you grow plants without those inorganic fertilizers if you don't have the organisms that Mother Nature does that fertilization process, that nutrient cycling. So get the biology back. you got to use compost. Grow all your local good critters in your compost pile. You don't have to go buy it from somebody else. Take all your waste products and turn it into really good compost. Inoculate your soil with it and boom! No more weeds. You don't have to pull weeds. How many? Now, I, I do like to pull weeds every once in a while when I get really angry at somebody. That's my release. <laughs> but most of the time, I am not in that case, in that position. So um, I want to select against the weeds and for the crop plant that I'm growing.